I am Triana Crane. I work with Community Vision. I am the lead employment specialist here, so I um, supervise a small team of employment specialists as well as work directly with the executive director and the lead job coach and sometimes job coaches. I would say job coaching is the backbone of our employment connections team because it really helps someone be successful wherever they are at in employment. Generally when an employee starts their new position a job coach is there with them the whole time and that process usually lasts for about three months. It's really making sure that the employer and their new employee are on the same page and everything is working out and they're learning what they need to know. And then after that, three months is up. Typically that would come down to about once a week, maybe twice a week that the job coach is coming in and checking in at different times, but always accessible to the employer. So after that next six months of check-ins. We'll continue to do check-ins um, maybe twice a month and for the duration of that person's employment. So Mike um, is a very social person but also will thrive with structure. So Jimmy Johns is very social. Uh, he's uh, what we consider mostly a floater. Um, so he's going to be helping customers out on registers, cleaning up tables afterwards, filling chips up. He's got really good work ethic, um, really, really friendly with the customers. I've been trying to diversify more and more. Customers observe that stuff. Having him here and just, uh, just fulfilling that role of just like, the positive energy that comes off them just it really helps out the whole crew and the whole store. Mike was like, I want this, I want this, and I want this, and I'm like, great, how do we get you there? And I mean, a year later, yeah, he's been working there over a year. He's got his new zippy coat that he got for his anniversary. He's taking orders. He's working the drive through. If Mike wanted to um, get promoted to maybe an assistant manager, I see it. If Mike wants to take those skills and be a host, or, um, gosh, create his own position at a place that he really likes to eat, then I see it. I mean, he's, it was really him in the driver's seat. We were just that support that's been helpful for him. Emily's worked here for about three months. She works um, five mornings a week. She comes in early before the store's open and gets us set up to open the store. She has a great personality. She's always in a good mood. She loves to say hi to people. Um, she's extremely reliable, um, she's never been late, she's never been absent, um, and she works hard. Emily's process now at New Seasons is she does not need any job coaching whatsoever. We still check in on her um, about once a week. We go at different times during her shift to see how she's doing, but allowing her to do the job that she could very well do independently the whole time. My name is James Green uh, and I am the executive chef here at the University of Portland. I work with uh, Bon Appetit Management Company. Sharon helps out in the dish room. Um, she's one of the dishwasher staff, one of about 10 or 11 dishwashers. She works uh, part-time for us. She fits in with, uh, with the crew. She does a good job. Sharon has stepped in with, with good speed. And she's also got good awareness of what's going on. A, a kitchen's a busy place and it can, be, it can be a dangerous place to work. There's wet floors, there's open flames. There's a lot of stuff that um, can be dangerous and she does a great job of working safely and that makes us very happy. I love seeing the changes in Sharon from her first day until now. I see, I've seen her confidence grow there and, and I've watched her making friends with her coworkers, and she really likes having a job and being out there in the community and, and that sense of importance that we all have from gainful employment. It's not just supporting the individual but it's also supporting the business. We want, we want that to be a good match for everyone and we want them to know that we're there for the business as much as we are for the employee. Oh, it's been so easy from the very beginning, um, from the interviews originally, um, the, the help in getting through all of those questions, um, the job coaching, all of that's been absolutely wonderful. Um, I know that I have two, two or three different people that I can call on a moment's notice, so it's been overall just a really, really great experience. 
Yeah, my experience working with Don has been excellent. In some ways, hiring Emily was easier than hiring um, another employee because I, the, the training is totally done for us. Because Emily's job coach is in here every day, um, the training that I invested in was fairly minimal and she, she kind of came with her own trainer. We've had, we've had support every day that Sharon has worked here. And it also, I think it's helpful for, for the employee as well. It's helpful for the employee to know that they've got someone uh, as a resource to help them on the job. We really appreciate the support and, that she's had and the support that she's giving us. If you're thinking about hiring someone through Community Vision, you should absolutely do it. I got $2 a tip from the customer. That's so nice. Why do you think they gave you a tip? I'm being a good worker with that mopping. What's your favorite part of your job? I like it all. I, mean, I especially like people. Tell me, what did you do with your first paycheck? Oh, uh, bought me a coat. You did? What are you going to buy with your next paycheck? Uh, I'm going grocery shopping because I need some food. <laughs> what I love about job coaching is being able to see people grow and being able to see them being proud of themselves and getting a paycheck and making new friends and that feeling of, of importance that we can all have from having our own job. So I really love just all the success stories and knowing that work itself can change someone's life and I had a little piece of that.